Welcome back, day eight of 21 Days of Prayer Challenge. I'm Zach Zender, excited to journey these 21 days with you. The question we're tackling, is there a proper way to pray? Is there a proper way to pray? So in this 21 days, if you haven't already, go to prayingchallenge.com, download the free guide there that'll have companion Bible readings, the challenge, the prayer prompt for the day, and so much more, and invite some friends, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Let's keep doing this and give these days over to the Lord. So I love what Richard Foster says about this. Is there a proper way to pray? He, he says that in the same way that a small child cannot draw a bad picture, <laughs> So a child of God cannot offer a bad prayer, right? Those kids' pictures, like, they're so beautiful, even when they're, like, not that great. We still hang them on our fridges. And, and I, that, that offers such a simple answer to this question. But still, what are we talking about here? Are we talking about the posture of prayer, the proper posture? Because when you look at the Bible and, and Jesus, like, you see him praying while he's walking and moving and sitting and standing and kneeling. And so that's probably not what most of us are thinking about is the posture. Is it the actual words that we share? Do we, do we have to have like good manners or behavior as we pray? I think words and behaviors are, are important, but my hunch is that while posture and words are, are, are significant, most of us are really talking mostly about an attitude of prayer or, or what's our heart like when it comes to prayer. And I think for this, there's no better option than to look at Jesus and how he prayed. So let's go to a couple places where Jesus prayed. First, it's Matthew chapter six, verses five through eight. Jesus taught this about prayer in the Sermon on the Mount. He said, and when you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and on the street corners to be seen by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward in full. But when you pray, go into your room, close the door and pray to your father who is unseen. Then your father who sees what is done in secret will reward you. And when you pray... Do not keep on babbling like pagans, for they think they will be heard because of their words. So Jesus tells us that. And then he gives us another example in Luke chapter 18, verses 9 through 14, when he talks about a, a parable a story illustrating this truth of two people that went to the temple to pray. And there's two different postures, two different attitudes. And so look at this. It says, to some who were confident of their own righteousness and looked down on everyone else, Jesus told this parable. Two men went up to the temple to pray, one a Pharisee and the other a tax collector. And these two were at odds with one another often in the Bible. The Pharisee stood by himself and prayed, God, I thank you that I'm not like other people. <laughs> it's a horrible prayer, by the way. Robbers, evildoers, adulterers, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week and give a tenth of all I get. So even if he's doing good actions, like his heart's not right. We can tell that from his prayer. But then verse 13, it says the tax collector stood at a distance. He wouldn't even look up to heaven, but beat his breast and said, God, have mercy on me, a sinner. And Jesus says, I tell you that this man rather than the other went home justified before God. For all those who exalt themselves will be humbled and those who humble themselves will be exalted. And so the proper way to pray, posture words, they're important, is simply with a humble attitude. God cares more about the thoughts in our hearts than the words on our lips. We don't have to have these beautifully crafted or even like King James Version type of significant prayers. No, 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 no. It's, it's coming before God with a humble heart, um, using and giving him your, your big worries, your big words, your expression of need, your eloquence of language or not. The question is, is what attitude, what heart are you bringing to God? And I want to bring that humble heart to God today and thank him for all that he's done for me. All right, so your prayer prompt and your challenge for the day. Your prayer prompt is I want you to pray for national and international missions, those that are uh, really seeking the cause of Christ in specific ways. Go ahead and throw those into the comments on this YouTube video so we can pray along with you. And then what's the, what's the challenge today? The challenge today is this. I want you to commit to memory Sorry, my memory lost it for a second. I'd look. Commit to memory, 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verses 14 and 15. I'm not going to give you the words. You've got to look it up. Commit it to memory. Write it down at least five times. Or how about this? Type it in the comments below five times. Can't copy and paste. <laughs> and so type it five times. Commit these verses to memory. And let's continue to come to God with a humble heart and see what God does. Hey, we'll see you back tomorrow for day nine of the 21 Days of Prayer Challenge. You can grab everything you need at prayingchallenge.com.